Uh, hello again. Uh, today we're going to make a um, very easy uh, chicken curry with uh, coconut, coconut, cream, uh, coconut, coconut cream sauce. Uh, let's start with the chicken. Okay, I'm just going to season my chicken. I'm going to roast the chicken in the oven while I'm making this sauce. So, a little bit of olive oil. Salt and pepper. I'm gonna add a little bit of turmeric. The curry powder already is turmeric in it, but I'm gonna add a little extra turmeric. A little bit of curry powder. And we mix it. Alright, let's put it in the pan. And we're going to roast it in the oven for... 15 to 20 minutes. My oven is preheated to 375. Um, I'm just gonna cook it for 15 to 15 to 18 minutes. I'll cut it up and I'll finish it in the sauce. Okay, let's throw this in the oven. Okay, I have here carrots so I'm doing carrots onions garlic pressed ginger um, spinach I have frozen spinach here you can use fresh I have a can of peas you can use fresh peas if you can find this or frozen peas is fine and I have cauliflower so let's cut the carrots Very small, so it cooks quick. This knife is very, very, very sharp. My cat always likes to check everything I do, so she's drops a piece of carrot and she's she wants to know if she can eat it. Okay, she's not gonna touch it. Okay, onions. I'm using these vegetables. You can use whatever vegetables you like. You know, it doesn't cooking is is all about simplicity. It doesn't have to be complicated. You can add whatever you want. It's not a lot of rocket science. You don't have to stick to a recipe. You can change it. You can do add things. You can. Um, you don't have to follow a recipe, hundred percent. And you can use whatever you have. Not everybody has anything in their pantry. Okay. Onions. Okay. 
okay, if it's still garlic. A few garlic in here. I'm just going to sharpen. You can buy chopped garlic in the jar. You don't have to. You don't have time. Okay. Okay. So our prep is done, and let's go and put it together in the pan. Okay. I have one more item. Some cilantro. I have like a lot of cilantro in it. I'm gonna chop some cilantro too. I already washed it. Okay. I'm not going to use that whole thing. Okay. Okay, um, I have a, a heavy pan in here, and earlier I did, I took some, I don't have basmati, but I took just regular rice, two cups of rice, I added um, uh, four cups of uh, chicken stock, and I cooked it for 20 minutes. Um, I'm going to serve the chicken curry on the top of it. So, the whole thing would probably take you 20 minutes. Okay, so this is a hot pan. Bring it to uh, get it hot, hot. It only takes a second to get to get hot. Okay, oil. Just gonna cover the bottom. I'm gonna add onions. The chicken is roasting in the oven. And a little more oil. I'm going to sweat the onions first, then I'll add the garlic and I want the garlic to burn. garlic and then I have some fresh ginger and I'm just gonna lay that in here Okay, I'm going to add a little bit of turmeric here. I'll do the same seasoning I added to the chicken, a little bit of turmeric, curry powder. Let's 
salt and pepper. I have kosher salt, you can use sea salt. And I like a lot of black pepper. Smell the curry, you can smell the cinnamon, there's um, cumin, coriander, cinnamon in it, turmeric in it, black pepper, salt, and other spices. Okay, I'm going to add chicken stock. I'm making probably about seven servings so I'm gonna I need a lot of sauce for for the, the rice I made so this was in full so I'll add more I'm gonna add a little more stock this is probably about four cups and I'm gonna cover it, bring it to boil. The carrots takes longer than anything else. All the other vegetables are, don't take that long to cook. Cover on it. Let's bring it to a boil faster. And it takes a minute to start boiling. Then we'll cover it and let it simmer just a little bit until the carrot is uh, soft. All right, let's come back. Okay, five minutes. Um, I covered it and let it boil, and the carrots is all is nice and soft. I'm gonna add cauliflower, and I'm gonna add spinach, and the peas will add it at the end. Um, and I have a can of coconut milk. So I'm just going to add the whole can because I can't, I'm not going to use it again, so I'll just add the whole thing. You see I have a lot of sauce. I, I like a lot of sauce. It's fine. Um, I can always make some more rice. And Okay, so let's bring it to a boil again and simmer it. Then turn the heat down and let it simmer a little, a little longer. And at the end, I'm going to add some butter. Butter makes everything taste good. Okay, I'm going to taste it first. See if I need... I'm going to have to add some more salt. So we'll come back to it again. Okay, I brought the sauce to a uh, boil. It only took like a minute and a half. I'm gonna, I turned it a little bit. I'm gonna let it simmer a little bit. Um, in the beginning, we put the chicken in the oven. Uh, it's done. It's almost 20 minutes. It's nice. And we're gonna use the, the juice from the chicken. Don't waste it, it tastes so good. So I'm going to add it to the, and I'm going to cut it up to, cut it up to strips and we'll add it to the sauce at the end. So the sauce is kind of loose. So at the end, if it's, I like uh, the sauce to be a little bit, a little bit thick, it started to thicken a little bit. The longer you cook it, um, it will thicken. Um, if it's, stays too loose just add a little slurry um, just add a little bit of flour water just add some flour cold water and flour mix it very well and add it a little bit by a little bit don't add too much a little bit by a little bit and it will thicken your sauce or if you have cornstarch you can add cornstarch I might not add this because I think the sauce is just going to thicken on its own so we'll see 
Okay, the sauce is good. I'm gonna add a little bit more. Okay, turn it down a little bit. I'm gonna add a little bit more salt, salt and pepper. A lot of black pepper. I just don't like it. A lot of fresh black pepper. I did not add any flour and water. It's uh, it's fine by itself. So I'm gonna add these. These are already cooked, so I just want them to warm up. And I'm gonna add some butter. Okay, let it do what it's doing. Okay, turn it up a little bit quicker. Okay, I just cut the chicken to strips. Look at it, it's nice and juicy. It's so good. It tastes so good. Just a simple salt and pepper, a little bit of turmeric, and a little bit of curry powder. You can add as much curry powder as you like. If you want a strong flavor of curry, you can add more. I think I only added like a teaspoon, half a teaspoon on the chicken and um, almost a teaspoon in the sauce. Okay, the sauce is almost done. This whole thing will take you less than um, probably 40 minutes to make. Okay, there's more juice in there. I like a lot of spinach, so I add, I put a lot of spinach in it. This is nice and healthy. You can serve it just like this, or uh, put it, serve it over rice. Okay, chicken is cooked, everything is cooked, so let's try it again. Wow, very, very good. Okay, let's plate it. I, I think uh, it's kind of. Uh, I'm gonna, uh, I'm gonna add a little bit of slurry. Uh, this is just cold water and flour. I'm gonna thicken it a little bit. I think it's too loose. This is not a roux. It's just flour, flour and cold water, and you get the same result. Now it thickens the sauce. I just added a little bit. So the sauce is kind of nice and thick now. I'm just gonna cook the, so I don't have that flour flavor. Cook it just a little bit more. I'm just gonna bring it to a boil and turn it off. I'll try it one more time. Okay, and the last thing I'm gonna do, I'm gonna add some fresh coriander, I mean the fresh cilantro. Okay, and we're done. It's still boiling. I have some rice in here. I have a cup of rice and I'm just gonna add some of this stuff here. Carrots. They have a lot of spinach in it. It's fine. Some carrots and we'll add some sauce. And the rice will absorb most of that sauce. And that's it. Coconut, chicken with carrots, cauliflower, spinach, peas, 
over rice. And let's add some fresh leaves of cilantro. And the dish is finished. And that's it. Thank you for watching.